Hello, it is that time again when we come together to hear the raw voice of the living God. I welcome you all. My name is Senior Prophet Austin Liabunya, and I'm broadcasting live from the city of Pretoria in South Africa. I would like to welcome every one of you, every country where you're watching from. Please let me know if my mic is okay. Let me know if you can hear me properly. I would like to know if you uh, can hear me properly. I would like you to uh, tag somebody in the uh, comment section below. Uh, invite as many people as you can. Let them know the senior prophet is here again for the Malawi and national prophecy. I know this program has been highly anticipated uh, by uh, many people, thousands of people, especially Malawians. As I said and I promised you that I would come to tell you how the Chakwera Chilima administration is going to be. Now, I would like to let you know that I am a prophet of God, and therefore, I do not speak to please man. I do not speak to please Chilima. I do not speak to please Chakwera. I do not speak to please Mutarika. I do not speak to please anyone. I speak to please God. And I would like also to make it very clear that I was not bought by any political party, and I am not uh, uh, affiliated with any kind of political party. If I was affiliated with any political party, then maybe I would have just said, okay, the prophets has come to pass. Therefore, it is like that. No. I prophesied the government that would come in power and I prophesied the government that would come in power now back in 2014. In fact, I started in 2011. And the prophecy is fulfilled in 2020. Now, after that prophecy has come to pass, don't you think it is necessary for me to come again and tell you how the new government is going to be the disadvantages and the advantages. Because I want you to understand that if I do not come and tell you how the government will be, this new government will be, guess what? When some things are happening in that government, you are the same people who will come to me and say, Prophet, you simply told us that this government is going to come in power. Why you did not tell us again? What's going to happen with this new government? So you see, it is only fair that I come to you and tell you what are the disadvantages and what are the advantages of the new government. Of course, everybody is, is praising, uh, is praising uh, Dr. Jaquera. Oh, congratulations. It is God's will for you to be in power. Why not that is true? But there are areas that God seriously showed me, okay, and asked me to put them in prayer. And also gave me the privilege to bring them publicly to you so that you and me, we can form a formidable force and pray together. Because the Bible says, what two or three shall bind on earth shall be bind in heaven. So it's only fair. Now, some people, you know, since I said I'm going to come to speak about the disadvantages and advantages of the new government, you know, I've been receiving lots of attacks. You know, I've been receiving lots of attacks. People saying, prophet, why don't you just keep quiet? You already prophesied that the new government is going to come in power. What do you want to spoil again? 
Why, why do you want to say the dis disadvantage again? People are already happy that they are liberated. They are freed. We balance we are happy. Why do you want to spoil the happiness? Why do you want to spoil the celebration? I'm not trying to spoil the celebration. I'm not trying to spoil the happiness. You understand? And guess what? Because I'll tell you something. Political prophecies are not easy. Are not easy at all. I'll tell you. You can prophesy about other things. You can prophesy about COVID-19. You can prophesy about, you know, uh, uh, about hunger, about fire, about accident, about what. But political prophecies are not easy. It takes a special grace, a special anointing, and a special audacity and faith orchestrated by the spirit of the living God for you to speak about politics. And God specifically called me in that area. And of course, among other areas as well. But first and foremost, in that area. So when you hear me talk about politics, it is my area of calling. Okay? It is my area of calling. I want you to understand that. It's my area of calling. All right. So this is not something that you, you know I'm trying to 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 do. Okay. No, it's something that I'm called into that area. Now, most of the people that are coming to me and say, "Prophet, you prophesied that Doctor Jaguar is going to come in power. He has now come in power. Keep quiet, celebrate, enjoy the moment." Why are you coming to prophesy about the disadvantages again? Do you want to spoil the happiness? We are happy. Most of, if you see, most of them that are saying that, they're the ones that are diehards of that political party or the MCP party or the new government. But you see, I'm not a side of any political party. I only come to speak the mind of God. Tell you what, that, that's how dangerous or how risky political prophecies are. Because you see that if, if the prophet is favoring a particular party, people of that party will love you, you know, will celebrate you, will embrace you, you know, will, will talk highly about you. But then the other party which the prophet you are giving is not favoring, they will normally call you names, you know, they, will, they will speak all sorts, they will write all sorts of comments. Even when I'm broadcasting like this, some, they'll try to put some negative comments. Why? Because the prophecy is not favoring them. Why are we like that? Should I make man happy or I should make God happy? Because if you don't want me as a prophet of God to come and tell you the disadvantages of the Chakwera government, you know what you're trying to say? You're trying to tell me that I'm now part of that party. No. No, God is my witness. I'm not part of that part. So, I'm not politically affiliated to any. No, no, I'm not. It's important that people know. Why? Because to program you, to prepare you for what's coming ahead, it's important. And I want you to understand also that that is for the sake of those people who say, Prophet, okay, all these politicians, you know them. Why don't you just talk to them? You know, just tell them, you know, ju just tell them that there's this problem. Let me ask you a question. If you are saying I must not be speaking publicly, whenever God allows me to speak publicly about these politicians or these political parties, especially my country of Malawi, you tell me, if this prophecy that right now you are celebrating me with saying, oh, prophet, now we see that God really speaks to you. Everything you spoke prior to the elections have come to pass. Prior to the past elections came to pass. Everything you speak is coming to pass in Malawi. Tell me, how do you know that what I said is coming to pass? And then you're glorifying God because what I said is coming to pass. You're glorifying God. The reason why you're glorifying God because what I said is coming to pass. It's because I said it public. If I said it privately, you wouldn't have any reason right now to, to glorify God that it has come to pass. But simply because I came with it to the public, 
That's why you are able right now to see that, oh, it has come to pass. Glory be to the living God. You see, that is why you have to understand that most of the times when God tells us, okay, to speak something in public, sometimes it's for his own glory. It's for his people to see the glory of God. Do you know how many people are communicating with us on a daily basis because of that prophecy of fulfillment? Because they have seen the hand of God on the nation of Maui. So, anyway, I would like to say this. Since God respects God's opinions and God respects God, I mean, people, I mean, his people's choices, I'll put it this way. And I want you to understand very clearly because some of these things that I want to say about the Chakwera government, they are, they are issues that will become issues of concern. The issues that will become issues of concern. And if I don't speak about them, you may as well be disappointed with me. You may as well think that I'm bought. You may as well think that I'm now politically affiliated. No. It's important. And listen, the reason why I'm speaking, I'm about to speak what I want to speak, it's because I want you and me, you as my fellow my, I mean, citizens, to be with me in prayer. I'm not speaking this just to speak something negative about the new government. No. But it's because I'm calling for prayer. You see, where a person is too much praised, mistakes are inevitable. Hear me. What everybody is praising Tukla Chakwera, first and foremost, he needs our prayers. He needs our prayers. Now, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to just tell you the areas that God showed me. The areas that God showed me. I, I may not speak, I will not speak in details what will actually happen in those areas. Okay? For the sake that I'm trying to respect people's views. Because God does. Alright? God does. But God showed me everything already. But for you to see that God knows everything ahead of time. For you to see that God ever knows everything ahead of time. I want you to understand this, okay? Number one, I want you to, to join me in prayer and pray on decision makings in the new government. Because the first, now I, I must say this, that the Chakura government will be one of the best, if not the best, Malawi have ever had, Okay? And as I said in my previous prophecy, that during the Chakwera administration, Malawi is going to go to another level, development-wise. All right? It's no longer going to be that Malawi, you know, that people used to know as the poorest country in the world. No, we're going to go out of that level as the poorest country in the world. So, there are a lot of good things that are going to happen in the Chakwera government, in the Chakwera administration. A lot of good things are going to happen which I do not want to uh, 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 involve that because I'm not here much to talk more of good things, no. But only the areas of concern that needs our prayers, okay? That needs our prayers, not just the areas that are just good. I already spoke about the areas that would be good in the Chakwila administration and, and wrapping it up, I, I put it this way that Malawi is going to shoot, is going to develop. This is the best government that Malawi has ever seen. The Chakwe administration will take Malawi to the next level that you have, you have never seen. But areas of concern that God showed me. Number one, I want to pray, join me in prayer on decisions when it comes to choosing those to serve with government. The first thing. Now, the mistakes will not be as such coming through or from Chakwera himself, but the mistakes will mostly be done by these people, some of these people that he's to choose or he has chosen. So, the decision making area when choosing who to serve and what needs our prayer. Because we wish him well. We love him. The nation loves him. And God has placed him in power in order to liberate his people to, to, into their canon. And that's what he's going to do. It's the best thing that we have always desired and wished. 
All right. So secondly, the biggest area, this is the biggest one. Secondly, credits, the government credits. Why are we celebrating that, you know, it's a new government, we're deliberated and all that. There are going to be huge credits that will allow all other countries, other banks, which later may backfire if it's not handled properly and if we do not seek the face of God in prayer. So it's very important that we pray in that area. Lots of debts to be paid and lots are going to come and it's paid so the country will be in debt. And that requires, that cause for our prayers as a nation. If we really, we want to build the new Malawi that we have desired. I want you to understand that. All right. So the area of decision makings and the area of debts, the area of concern. Number three, I want you to pray for the relationship between Dr. Chakwera, our president that we all have, and the vice president, which is Dr. Saros Chilima. You see, the time of Saros Chilima is going to come. It's going to come. And it's very close. In fact, it's next. And I said clearly that Dr. Chakwera is the one that will introduce him into power. Without Dr. Listen to this. Without Dr. Chakwera, Dr. Chilima cannot go into power. It cannot happen. God emphasized to me. It cannot happen. So, and again, vice versa is true. Without Dr. Chilima, Dr. Chakwera wouldn't have come into power. That is why those of you who have been following my prophecies, when I was giving a prophecy many years ago, I said that the only way for Dr. Chakwela to become president of Malawi, it's if he works together with Dr. Chilima. And I said, God has told me to tell Dr. Chilima to join Dr. Chakwela because it is the will of God for Dr. Chilima to do so. Because you have to understand that no matter who you are, what you are, you need someone to push you into a destiny. It's called destiny helpers. So as much as Dr. Chilima has been a destiny helper to Dr. Chakwera, next it will be the turn of Dr. Chakwera to be a destiny helper to Dr. Chilima. Okay? But their relationship, it's what, I don't want to go into details as people are criticizing me already of trying to spoil the day, you know, when everybody's celebrating. <laughs> But I want you to understand that we need to pray for their relationship. Let's pray about the relationship. Many things are going to happen. So let's pray for the relationship between these two people, Dr. Chakwera and Dr. Chilima. If you don't pray for the relationship with these two people, <laughs> there's going to be two governments. Now, you may not know that. You may not know that. But those, you know, they will know that there are two governments because there will be two superiors. Okay? There is a word in my language that Atambalawi is All right? That's actually what will be happening. All right? So, we, we pray for the relationship of these two people. All right? These two people. The good thing I love about these two people is that they are both humble. All right? But you see, without our prayers... The relationship cannot stand. So we have to stand and pray for the relationship. When it comes to decisions, let's pray on that. It's very important. Very important. Okay? It's very important. So the time for Dr. Chilima is going to come. And as I said, it's very close. Okay? And it is Dr. Jacqueline actually that will introduce him into presidency. So what I can say to 
Dr. Ajiri, is that no matter what happens, he must just continue to humble himself because it is the same man that will introduce him into presidency. It, it is very important that he understand that happens. Okay? Now, let me tell you something also. Uh, there is going to be some issues. Okay? The people that are involved in corruption in the previous government must all be persecuted because if not, it will backfire. Very important, that statement. Or else it will backfire. So it's very important that they're persecuted. But what I'm saying mostly is they need our prayers. They need our prayers. I've been praying for them. I've been seeking the face of God for them because God has shown me how this government is going to be. Now, let me answer another, uh, uh, an, 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 another, another question uh, that is very important that I've been, you know, you know, receiving from people, you know, trying to find out uh, from me as to, okay, so prophet, uh, how long is this government going to be? I'd like to tell you, for those of you who are asking, how long is this government going to be? This government is going to be for two terms, all right? So I, I believe I've answered, your, I've answered your, some of, of your questions. Kuti, you know, uh, want to know how long is, go, is it going to be one term? Because you told us about Mutalika that it was going to be one term, and lo and behold, he ran only for one term. Is this going to be the same with the new government? No. This government is going to rule for two full terms, okay? And don't forget about the new Kamus Banda that is also coming. So this government is going to rule for the uh, two terms, full, okay? Full that this government is going to rule. So the first term is going to be the best, but the second one, it's going to be with questions, all right? So this first term is going to be the best. It's going to be the best. But the second term, things will start. Okay, so let's keep them, uh, let's keep them in prayer. I think I've answered that question of uh, uh, how long is they going to rule. You know, some people say, okay, they will exchange Chirimai, but no, 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 no. Even Dr. Chirimai himself understand that what the will of God is, that it is the will of God that Dr. Jaguera rules. Because don't forget that part of Dr. Jaguera's uh, uh, leadership was uh, taken by uh, Professor uh, uh, Peter, you know, Omtarika. You see, the part that was ruling, as I said last, that it was not his. It was not his at all. So I want you to understand. But what I want is pray for them so they don't make mistakes. Governance mistakes. Pray for them against governance mistakes. And I would like to, uh, all right, all right. Some of that advice, I think I'll deliver to them uh, privately. But let's keep them in prayer. We love them. And we believe that, 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 that they're going to do, you know, the will of God. But if you do not pray for them, they'll make a lot of mistakes. In those areas that normally, uh, you know, I, I mentioned about, you know, the government of these two people. All right. So uh, God bless you and thank you for tuning in. Join me again tomorrow as I come uh, for the online church service. Until I see you again, my name is Senior Prophet Austin Yabunya, and shalom, a God bless you.